Good evening, today we'll talk about the association class modeling and implementation in Java. So let's go. For example, here we have two classes, student and course. The student register on zero or more course. But the question is, where to save the registration date? Should we save it inside the student class or inside the course class? Actually, we can't save it neither in student nor in the course because it doesn't belong to any of them. Actually, we need to define a new class called registration in our case and uh, define this uh, attribute registration date inside it, as we can see. This registration class is called an association class. Okay. Uh, in addition, this registration class, in, uh, to enable it to, uh, to hold the association and manage it, it should have a reference of object course and a reference of student. Okay. Uh, actually, also, we need inside the student or the course to define a list of registration. Uh, actually, it's up to you to define it uh, inside the student class or in course class. In my uh, case, I defined it inside the student class. As you see here, for example, we have course and student and registration class. The course is symbol uh, class with the name attribute, constructor and setter and getter for the name. Student also have a name attribute with the constructor and getter and setter for the name. Uh, and registration also, as we say, it has the registration date and it uh, has uh, a reference. For example, here a course, and it has a reference of the student, okay, and it has a, a getter for them. As we say also here, the student should have a list of the registration. It's called registered course, okay, and we have a, a get for it. And also the convenient method I talked to you about uh, is called register for course. It enables us to add a registration to the list of registered courses. Okay, so let's go to implementation. I think uh, things will be better. Let's, for example, say here, called association. Let's define class course first. It has a private attribute, call it name. the constructor and getter and setter okay let's define another class which is the student it also have name okay let's define the constructor also and define setter and getter Okay, let's come back to create a new registration class. I will come back to the student class later. Okay. As we said, it will take uh, have a reference for the student and the course. So I will say private course. We'll have a constructor. Okay, we also let's define a getter. Here we should import that. Okay, I'll come back to the student class. As we say, it should have a list of the registration so let's say private list of registration we call it registered course okay we should import this from java util okay inside the constructor we need to initialize this Field. Okay. 
you should define a getter for this registered course okay Actually, I will not return the, the registered course directly because in this way the user will be able to add um, a registration directly and I don't want uh, this to happen so I return a copy from it ok so I will say return new of this registered courses I think I made a mistake here, maybe I should Registration Okay mm. Yes Okay, now it's time for the convenient method which enable us to add a course to uh, to enable so, uh, sorry to enable us to add registration to uh, the student. So I say public void. I name it register for course. It will take a course object. What we'll do inside it, we will add a new registration to our registered course list. So we'll add, we say new, the, the registration constructor takes three parameters as, as you define here. It will take the course and the student and the registration date. So, okay, it will take the course. And we will pass the student, the same student we uh, we are inside, which is called this, and then say new date. Okay, what is the point? Okay, new course is this. I don't know what is the point. new so registration of the registration it will take the course and this and the new date okay now we should also import this what the constructor did is undefined how Okay. It imported Java to SQL the date. This is not what you want. Okay. Now we'll try to create a test class and see that in action. Okay. We'll define first our student. courses equal new course let's name it C sharp for example after that we'll set this uh, two courses into the student using the registration we'll say student dot register for course will pass
varsa course one and then we will register for course the course c2 okay now let's loop over the course uh, over the registration of the student and the frenzy data so let's say for example for over student dot get just read courses what we will say for example what we say re registration Maybe it will save. Okay. We will say this out. Registered course, for example, to get we can get student and we can get course, for example, and so get name here. The same we can do for. For the course and get this name and data we say no. you get the date okay uh, let's hear formatting okay let's print everything here okay let's test Here, as you see, the student name is Sarah. It has a Java course. As registration date was 23 of the March. And here is a C sharp course also. That's all. I hope you find it useful. Thank you.